Hello everyone and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Corpse Party. Yeah, so last time we met our dear teacher. She was very nice, Miss Yui. Yeah, it was Miss Yui. So uh, let's continue with chapter 2 first of all. <laughs> I'm not sure why I started on the title screen. Yeah. Okay. So last time we stopped here with these two, uh, the boy and the girl, I will remember their names soon enough when they start to talk again because we, we didn't play to him as much as the teacher before and the teacher got in trouble because of a red, angry, hateful ghost, a student who was a, probably like betrayed or I don't know, maybe he had some problems and no one helped him and just the worst experience like I said in the last part, so yeah. And I hope I hope really much that she's still alive and we can somehow make it to her. I'm not sure what happened to the structure of a building, like completely everything is kinda upside down. I'm not sure. I think we explored here everything. Right? Okay, I have to make the sound a little bit quieter. Because it's really loud. Okay, yeah, here we can't go anywhere, and uh, and a loose board won't help us here either, I think. So let's continue. Okay, uh, stuck in the hole. Mm. I think, uh, this is what we already read before. So, yeah, and this is the other way to the room. I think we didn't explode here because we went straight to the teacher. Oh, all right, we have two ways to go: the, uh, the upper floor or the floor downstairs. Let's just go down first because I'm not sure. Because we didn't went there last time because the wooden, like this, the loose board was on the other side of, uh, like on the north side of the, no of the northern side of this uh, building. At least on this floor, you know. And now it's here. Like this is why I thought it was kind of such a turn around, everything like 180 degrees and stuff. Wait a second. Let's go back. I think did we check the bucket? I'm not sure. Okay, now we checked it already. Still the bucket. Still don't trust them. <laughs> oh. oh, she scared me for a moment. Okay, let's remember names. Ayumi, that's a girl. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> the fur, I can imagine they are pretty familiar with them. Yeah, the hover rep, alright. Yeah, she is like the one who is really interested in occult, ghosts, creepy stuff. Interesting, but she's also kind of scared if she's really confronted with them. I can recall it when we read her character uh, introduction. Like, yeah, she is. Uh, in truth, she is pretty scared. So he's Yoshiki. Yoshiki and Ayumi. I have to remi uh, remember that. Uh, something's here on my keyboard. Right. How about what? It's a pretty good idea. I hope nothing catches on fire, but... <laughs> um, but still, the safe points are pretty good. Yeah. I'm not sure how a candle can tell. I think they can tell that you're safe, Ayumi, but I'm not sure if they will know that Yoshiki and the teacher are safe with you, you know? But at least it's something, you know? You know? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, just give her that, man. 
行こうぜ。あ、look at her now she's all happy。and wait for another we have one on the upper floor and down here。safe point。oops。ah。yes。All right, Ayumi and Yoshiki, let's continue our journey. I'm not. What is this for? S What's this? It looks like a freaking closet. Hmm. We're building first of this tool. I don't really like the music. I was like listening for it for a moment because I didn't know, I didn't really understood what it was like. What? <laughs> All right. Living friends who are able to retain their sanity and reason will be your final ray of hope. Yeah, I can already see like from the very beginning that this chapter is going to be more about like the sanity, like madness and stuff, angry. Heal feelings of hate and stuff like this is like this is the gap seems never enough to be crossable, but not without some assistance. Come on, jump! It's not it's not such a big gap. Well, I can judge that. Uh, I'm not a good jumper either. So this is a beginning. We can go through here. We n we never went this way. Main building first floor entrance way. Let's see. Each time you turn around, stop for a moment and ask yourself, is the work behind your back still there? Hmm. This is really deep and pretty creepy. No. <laughs> Don't tell this stuff. Okay. The front entrance might as well be painted on. It's neither opening nor giving any hints that it will ever open. And we're so close again. There's nothing on the shelves, it's just... Alright. Like I said, so close, but still so far away. Oh... No... So many... Oh no... Yeah, we didn't solve them before. It's okay, Ayumi. Just breathe. You're not alone. <coughs> no. I'm kind of scared now because I I just reminded myself of this uh, flyer we just saw, like the sanity and stuff. I'm kind of scared about Ayumi right now because she seems to freak out pretty <laughs> fast about <laughs> these things. Of course, it's it's something you have to freak out about, but still. She seems really fragile in this kind of way. Okay. Just take it easy, girl. Oh no. Not the doctor. Okay. <coughs> yeah, we have to find her. This is oh. this is a good point of view. Be optimistic. Find the teacher. Don't look around too much. Satoshi, where is he? Maybe Oh, okay. So. Satoshi, yeah, this is like the typical main character guy name, so it's probably him. <laughs> like, the little bit scary guy. Well... Yeah. Let's get out of here, man. I think I wouldn't stand around for just like thinking about things either. I will be like, get the hell out of this place. Don't stand around for too long in one single spot. I'm not sure what can come after you. Oh yeah, we can st we can check out the, uh, the bodies. 
All right. Judging by size, these appear to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals a stu school a sc a student school ID name tag. Bi Biaku Dan Senior High School, Class Four Two Four. <laughs> Kai Shimada. Okay. What her name? Huh? Kizami. I'm not sure what it is. Wait a second, I will get myself a piece of paper because I don't think he will. I will write it down. I'm not sure. Maybe it's a code or something because now that we're exploring, it, it's time for another quest and stuff, so I'm writing down stuff that we find. Okay, I write down Kizami, Sanity. <laughs> And Miss Yui. Okay. Alright. That's something. Oh, so he heard it too. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Did he say this again? If I look at him? No, he just says this once. Judging by size, these appear to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals the student. I, I want to always say school student ID, ID name tag, not school ID name tag. Oh, the same school. Biyakodan Senior High School, Class 2 4. Tomohiro Okawa. Tomohiro Okawa. Oh, so many years. So this, this is a different school. Judging by size, the same. The same school too. Byakudan Senior High School. C class 24 Masato Fukuroi. Fukuroi. What a name. <laughs> wow. I think we're all in the same class. Actually, like, now that I think about it. Judging by size. Okay, same school. Ah, but a different school. Um, Mus Musashigawa Girls Middle School. Musashigawa. Hikari Kiriju. Kiriju. Kiriju? Yeah. 2 1. 2 4. 2 2. 1 2. Oh my god. Class 1 2. Okay. This is a, young, uh, a younger girl, and these are older students. Because they're 2 4. Okay. Good to know. Oh man, I have shivers down my spine <laughs> walking around. But it looks like the same area where Naomi and Seiko were. Like this is now this is now the, uh, the like now you can go this way and you find this uh, this classroom where we had the first teamwork mission, and now it's closed. And if we go down, I think there was. Uh, yeah, this girl was here and the red door, yes. So let's just check out this side first. Can we go inside here? No. Like a model to the wall. So this is not in our region. We can't go inside here. Alright, custodian's closet. For doors. Oh! There's an... This time, I think the other time it was painted on, but this time it's only locked. So maybe we can go inside there later. So let's see, can we now have the ID name tag? Based on the long strands of hair scattered all around, these are likely the remains of a female student. No, okay, nothing. There's a hastily written note on the ground. It's written. Writer seemed to have struggled with it, as the letter is co inconsistent and difficult to read. This is where she talked about her sister, yeah. Where she was like, please live and, uh, and things like that. It's It was really sad. Why, sister? It hurts. It hurts. After I die... The pain will continue forever. No. 
No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, so in this timeline, the ghost appears to be evil demon uh, red. That's just great. Yeah, because in the, uh, yeah, in, in the other dimension she didn't know that the pain will continue and I'm not sure what her sister has to do with this. Alright, so we checked out this side completely. I didn't find anything else. Well, wait, is she telling anything else? I'm not, I, I really don't want to talk too much to this red ghost because I'm... No, no, no. She just says the same thing over and over again. <sighs> okay, so we can get the tips only in the beginning that red ghost. <laughs> and she was the one who told me that red ghosts are bad and blue ones are nice. <laughs> now she's herself a red ghost. This looks pretty creepy. What are you? There are decaying skeletal remains here, about the size of a middle school student. They are in the process of slowly drying and whitening, creating an almost overpowering stench throughout the hallway. Any clothing the deceased had been wearing is long gone, so there are no means of readily identifying gender on site. Can I... Student ID name tag? Verde King... In the process... Oh, yeah, okay. Fortunately, there's a student ID name tag next to the body. Lexern Senior... Lexern? I never heard of this before. Senior High School, Class 2... 3-2. Emi Kudo. Emi Kudo. Okay. <sighs> okay, because I think we have to check out... Uh yeah. We have to check uh, the bodies and the letters all mul multiple times so we can get extra information if they hint you that they have more information, you know? If they're all like like the ghost before, I walked away because I thought she won't say anything else and I checked again just in case, but she didn't. You have to get this, this uh, intuition inside of you if they have more information or not, because I can't believe that there is this thing, but they didn't tell me that there is no student ID name tag. I mean school ID name tag. I'm sorry, I will never get it right, but I will just say... Yeah, ID name tag. They didn't set on this thing that thing on this uh, remains. I will not be so rude and call them things. Even though they're dead, they're, they were still people in the game. So, yeah. Yeah, this is why I double check everything, just in case. In this game, this is exploring. You have to check everything, just in case. Victims may more. Reminds me. You people told me that I can have the worst ending ever if I read the memoirs and I was like, I never saw any memoirs, not in the first chapter and in the second I didn't saw any so far, so I thought maybe later on in the game. And this is it probably, right? Because this really clearly written memoirs, so... I'm not sure, I don't think I will get her ending right now, the wrong end. So let's continue. I ate my friend today. Ah, oh, what a great start! Oh no, I feel sick already. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I ate my friend today. What else was I supposed to do? I was starving. We both were. And there's no food here. So we decided together that one of us should try to live just a little bit longer. If I ever get home, I'm supposed to tell all the people waiting for us what happened. Yeah. 
I wonder what you will tell to your friends' parents, like... I, I want just to tell you... That... My friend... Yeah, she just... She sacrificed herself as food for me, only so I can get back. I hope you don't mind that I ate your ch child. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work like this. I know it's, like, good that you escape, but... You know... Telling people about this especially is not a good idea, I think. We left it all up to a game of paper, scissors, rock. Loser eats winner. Oh. Oh, this is how they saw it. Like, they saw, uh, they looked at death as a solution. Like, this is freedom. You know? And this is why they told loser eats winner. And first of all, I was kind of dumbfounded the treating it. I was like, wait, what? Isn't it the other way around? But no. I mean, come on, who wants to be alone after eating your friend at the school? Is this something you're supposed to have? Like, you want to win that? Like, happy dappy everything? And the person who dies will be just gone and will not experience it. At least that's what they thought, but it's not like this in the school and I don't think they knew that... There's nothing. No nirvana, no heaven. God damn this game. And I lost. I felt her blood going down my throat, quenching my thirst. And her meat was supple and satisfying. Oh. But that blood and that meat was once my friend. Up until just a few hours. Oh my god, I feel sick. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh man. Oh man. I kind of need a moment. <sighs> okay. I'd be taking... I'd be talking with her. I'd been talking with her. As I, I feasted, I just kept thinking this food used to be a person. Before I tore it apart, it all worked together to sustain a life. And every time I thought about that, I just started crying. And I couldn't stop. I wanted some part of her to be with me um, even after she died, so I decided to keep one of her eyeballs. And I thought maybe I should write all of this down to help preserve some small portion of my sanity. What a game. <laughs> what a game can do to you even after just reading this memoir. I can already see why this memoirs can lead to the worst ending and apparently this is not right now because I didn't die or something. But still, holy moly. Yeah, holy cow man. This is this is like hard stuff. Okay. What what is this? I can't click on it. Hmm. So this is like the remains of a eating. I see, this is why it's like that. Oh great, I feel so sick, let's just go. I don't want to be near the thing again. Yeah. Yes, what's wrong girl? Don't don't lose it don't lose it girl. I'm here. We we all we are all here to to bear it with you. Oh god. <laughs> I hope I didn't make a mistake coming inside of here, but nothing in this game is like just for fun. Every open door is a hint or a ha something. It can get us some tips how to get out of here, you know, girl. And I don't think if I explore everything and won't go inside of here, I can maybe... Or, like I said, I can maybe s get stuck, you know, girl, so we have to be in here. We have to make something here, maybe. I'm not sure, but let's explore a little bit. 
So yeah. Let's go. I will I will protect you, Ayomi, don't worry. Let's see. But I don't like her music, it's so like it's menacing to the bone right now. <laughs> Wait, huh? Is tempercept on the day? I don't know. Yoshiki, I really don't know. Let's just continue. What is that? It's a ghost boy. Well, except for the blood on his clothes, he looks kinda cute. <laughs> but still. Yeah. Okay. I will definitely not look into his eyes. Does it mean I can't go over there? I want to see what's there, you know? Yeah, like I thought. Uh, I will not look into his eyes. No? Okay, I can I can I can move like away from him, but like you're not looking just in his direction, okay. What's this? A rusted blood soaked nail puller sitting on top of a desk. Take it. Uh of course. Maybe we can use it to make like to take it as a weapon and stuff. Nail puller. Yay. Okay, let's be careful now. Every single step. Like this. Okay, let's go away. What does it sound? Okay, he's still there. Okay, so it's just the spot. Oh god. It scared me there for a moment. Oh boy. Oh, look at that. We're still here. Can I go back inside? Whoa. Oh man, it just... It took way too long in my opinion. Okay, he's still there. I just wanted to make sure. I feel kinda scared right now. Let's go. I'm not sure the... It was kinda intimidating and... And stuff that it took so long to get into the room, like... Alright, so let's explore now, uh... The upper floors. Because we explored everything... Here. Girl? Ayumi, what's wrong? <laughs> what? <gasps> uh, don't turn into a zombie on me, please. Whoa. <laughs> what are you doing, girl? Don't scare me like that. I'm not sure, Yoshiki. I'm not sure. I'm kind of scared. I don't want to find out. I really don't want to. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm... Oh. Oh. Uh, she, she ran down... I think she ran down the stairs here. Oh my god, I have to save this. I'm not sure. I feel so scared right now. <laughs> this whole place is so... Scary right now. Oh yeah, there she is. There she is. There she is, girl. Oi, Shinozaki! Omae, nani What are you doing, girl? Oh no! What's this look on your face, girl? Oh no, girl! Second point sanity! Remain it, please! Mrs. Alfrey of Hope! Is she possessed? Um... What? Oh, I think she... This is not really about sanity right now. I think this is kind of possession? Sounds like that. Oh god. Did she just <laughs> He's like he don't he doesn't know exactly like we what to say right now. He's like uh what? 
What just happened? Okay. Okay. Did you say... Oh, man. Noble world we had a few ten minutes ago is practically gone right now. What I think... Did she just told some of the deaths, like the last moments of her people? Uh, no, no, the, the birthday of the daughter's birthday is kind of weird. I'm not sure. What are you talking about, girl? Wait a second, here's something. Okay. Finally got it away from my keyboard. Something was on top of it. Shinozaki. Oi. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> oh, the language. So funny. Oh man, I will be freak out, freaked out too after this scene. Girl? Um. Oh, this is even scarier. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to niece. <laughs> Yeah. She can't remember. How great. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Uh -huh. Well, it's not really the nerves. Like, I think, if we, if there are ghosts here, how, how far-fetched would be possession? Just saying, you know? In so many bodies that we saw so far. Pretty insane stuff going on here. But I think her nerves are pretty uh, wrecked too at this point. Well, mine would be. I hope so. But I don't think so. I don't think that was your imagination, Yoshiki. Uh, I really doubt that. Okay. So... Oh... This wasn't here before. Okay, this is another one of these. Prepare my soul and my sanity. Time to overcome it. The second of the five memoirs. I hold in the palm of my hand a piece of a person's body. A piece of a person who was living and breathing only a short while ago. But the first, the first memoir is still the worst one. Just horrible. Just horrible, guys. Holy crap. This body part used to be attached to her head. And now I'm, I'm walking around the school with it. I had no idea eyeballs were so heavy. And I just keep squishing it in the palm of my hand. As if I'm testing its firmness. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. <laughs> oh my god. Is that all? Are you are you finished? Okay. Can we go outside now? Please. Okay. Okay, let's go. Holy shit, what What the hell is going on here guys? Oh my god, how am I supposed to do that? Is is he going to follow me inside here? Oh oh no, I have enough of these chase scenes. Saving. Time to be a man. <laughs> okay, get my pants on and we're going outside to face the ghost boy. Uh Okay, where is he? Oh 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 oh. Oh, is he still following me? Hello. Please stay there. Hello. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at you right now, and you can't do anything. Okay, so the second, uh, no, the lower floor is now possessed by a demon ghost boy. Just so freaking great. Like, I didn't have enough of these chase scenes. I thought I was already finished with it in the first chapter, but no. Now we have one in the entire floor. I hope he will not go... 
I will. I hope you will not follow me on the upper floors. Okay, the music here is a little bit more, like, motivating. Maybe so is someone back here? Still, not to miss you. Is still here on touch and on altered. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Well. I'm sorry. I'm not sure. I think I'm catching a cold again. A summer cold. Something else. Chefs are full to overflowing. Wait a second. Uh, in the last chapter, wasn't here a back... The door is not shut and the nets... Yes! Oh my god, what luck. <laughs> I think I would have totally missed it. I was like, let's check out the room again just in case uh, maybe Miss Yui came back. I'm not sure how, because we saw what happened to her, but maybe someone else came by and read it and is staying there. And then I was like, uh, thinking about this room and... I saw the spot and I was like, maybe something else, like, it's like you have to, exp like I said, explore everything again. Maybe something changed now with these two, because I explored before with a teacher, but I remembered this, but I, I forgot to write it down. My god, I have to write every single thing down. Useful name. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. So much good progress. I was successfully in losing every nail and opening the door. The rest of the old nail puller broke apart in the process. Great, we have no nail puller now. I hope there's no another ghost children inside. Please, no. Okay. I see another memoirs. Holy crap. There's a piece of scrap paper pinned to the wall. You notice dark spots dotting the page and realize there are tear stains. Oh. Those who choose to ignore the darkness that dwells in the heart, hearts of men may be stuck forever in a loop. For in this world there are some truths that simply must be known, no matter how disturbing. But curiosity can be deadly, and other truths are, be lef are best left untold. That's true. Beware the messages of the dead, for, the be cur for there be curses among them. Curses that can crush even the strongest wills, demolishing all semblance of reason. Okay. So some magic... Like... I think in the last chapter they told us uh, read the notes of the people, but here they tell... But be aware some of them are cursed. If you wish to protect your sanity, take heed. Do not let your curiosity get the better of you. Alright. Do not read the victim's memoirs to their conclusion. All right, yeah, victim's memoirs. I will just memoirs conclusion equals worst end. Memoirs conclusion worst end, and this is like the proof of that. Just great. Just write it down. So apparently, I can read them like till the fourth one. But if I read the fifth one, um, I'm not going. I will not get away with the wrong end. It's like the wrong end will come to me. I see. Okay, victims' memoirs, three of five. I've been searching every last corner of the school building, trying to find a way of escaping with her. But it's not happening. No matter how much we struggle, only further misery awaits us. I'm so unbearably thirsty, so hungry, but it feels like my stomach is eating itself. I can't understand the feeling. Oh, the pain, the pain of thinking about it. And every moment it gets worse, it's like a big black mess in front of me. It's slowly closing in. I can't keep ignoring it. I started talking to the eyeball on my hand to help stay focused and maintain my sanity. Stop looking at me like that. I swear, I'll find us a way out of here. I have to make sure I'll tell your family what you did for me. Okay, the sanity just keeps going lower and lower with this person. 
Is this a cobra? It looks like it. Or like um this one Pokemon. <laughs> this looks it looks like a cobra. I'm not sure it was in the team of Team Rocket, I think. Yeah yeah, I'm talking about Pokemon in this game. Just great. It just looks like it I mean look at it. Looks like a freaking snake. Alright, it appears to be a control mechanism for some sort of elaborate pulley system. Rigged up with a network of fine, virtually transparent threads. There is a lever judging out from one side. Pull it. Yes, why not? Okay, now I can see the mechanism. <laughs> Which room is it again? I'm not sure. I don't remember seeing the Cobra anywhere else. Okay. We'll see. Alright. We made very good progress. So let's continue. Oh, we wanted to go to the upper floors, but I want to find out the room. Uh, it's a it's a room where the boy went, right? Where the boy was, I think so, because the room was really small and it's, it was it was a really uh, small narrow room, like. It looks it looked like a floor, like a dead end uh, floor. Okay. Oh. Uh, well, wait a second. I'm not sure if it's something. I will just use every data. Let's just say that because I told you I will make in the end of my first playthrough some endings, and then I'm not sure what choices I made and what choices I still have to make. So yeah. Oh, I forgot about you. <laughs> I really forgot about this kid. Come here. Come here. Come here. And now go away. God damn it. I was like walking so casually and forgot all about it. So great. Alright, let's see. Don't go and say me insane on me again. I am okay. I can't handle things like that. Yeah, it was this room. Oh, God damn it! This, this freaking corpse. The first, the first memoir was still the worst one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is where the boy was, and now I didn't saw this, but I remember the structure of this room. So it, it was pretty. It was pretty different. It appears to be a control mechanism for some sort. Okay. Same. There's a lever jutting from one side. Pull it. Yes. Progress is real, guys. Oh. Okay. I think after I... Yeah, after this I will go back and save and... Yeah. Let's... Oh, you have to be kidding me. What are you doing here, kid? Come here. Oh, God. <laughs> this will be a feast. Mm. Uh. I did it! Oh my god, the skills are real, man. Okay. Alright. Is it gone? I think so. Oh no! <laughs> Stop it, boy. Please. Okay, are you me? Please not running away, okay? Okay. Holy shit. That kid man is going to get on my nerves. Demon kid. <laughs> Evil demon ghost kid. But it's blue. This is what this is what I'm thinking right now. It's it's a blue ghost boy. But Aimi told me he's bad. So I'm not sure um um what I should trust because in the extra chapter the ghost was also blue and very kind. So yeah, I don't know what to believe anymore. But I'm pretty sure if a ghost catches me, there will be nothing good. Because Ayumi told me clearly that he's not up to... that he's up to no good. And the game made even a chasing scene, like, where I have to get out of him. Where, where I have to get away from him. So, yeah. I don't buy that he's good. 
even though he's blue, maybe maybe it's some kind of symbolism. I'm not sure that he's blue. Maybe something about his death, or I don't know. Anyway, I will end the part right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Some action happened, some progress happened, and we still have a lot of things to explore. So yeah, we'll see each other in the next part of Let's Play Corpse Party. I'm eager to find out more, even though it's pretty I like the part, the memoirs part, the first memoir was the very, very worst. It made me feel so sick. I felt so sick the last time on you know what kind of part in Vada no Hara, you know? I won't spoil it now in this playthrough, but if you know what I mean, like the worst part of this of my of this previous game no, not my previous game, but this one single scene in Vada no Hara, only this specific scene made me feel so sick like right now, only for different reasons. Anyway, enough ranting. For the third time probably already. We'll see each other in the next part. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh and yeah. And until the next part, guys, see ya!